Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Motorsport Manager. And because I didn't in the first video, I'd like to go over the rules for the European Racing Series. So let's go over some of the highlights here. So we have short practice sessions. They're only 12 minutes long. I did find this a little bit challenging when I did the tutorial. It doesn't give you quite as much time to fine tune your car. We have 27 uh, lap races on average, uh, speed limit in the pit lane, six man pit stop crews, so on and so forth. I think the next thing that we want to look at is the tire setup. So the tires are decided upon by the Global Motorsport Association for each race weekend, and it's going to consist of two dry weather tire compounds. And I think which of those two compounds we'll get a choice of depends on the track itself. Uh, we get 15 tires per race weekend. And there is refueling in this series. So uh, we have 88 pound fuel tanks and we can uh, refuel throughout the race. And uh, the last couple things to uh, take a look at outside of the fact that the front wings and the rear wings are pretty much established by the rules uh, there is no qualifying session, so there's no qualifying. Grids are decided by reversing the driver's championship standings. So whoever is on bottom would be in front, and whoever is at the top will be in the back. This is supposed to equalize the performance of the teams and may be beneficial to our team, considering we are one of the teams slated to uh, finish closer to the bottom. That means we'll start each race closer towards the front if we're not doing particularly well. All right, with that being said, I don't think there's anything else to go over. So let's just go ahead and advance more time until we get uh, the part that we're trying to build for our cars completed. Okay, now there is one or ooh, we have more sponsors, so we'll have to take a look at that. There is one other thing I'd like to mention. We do have the race that's upcoming, and it gives us an idea of what kind of parts are going to be crucial. Now, I don't remember if this is saying that top speed is crucial or that the wear on that part will be heavier. That's a part that I don't remember uh, in the tutorial, but I think it's what it's pretty much telling us is that top speed and acceleration is going to be important. And we're going to have a lot of high-speed corners because of the high speed nature of the track so uh as far as the forecast goes it's predicted to be good weather in practice but rainy weather in the race so that's going to make the practice a little bit more challenging too because we're not going to be able to really uh work on the intermediate or wet tires as effectively during practice as we might need to for the race also fuel burn is very high so again this seems like a very fast track here and then tire wear is low, so probably not too demanding corners-wise. And then the laps are going to be 30. So it's a little bit above the average that we just went over in the rules, probably because of how fast it is. And then these are the tires available. So we have two different soft tire compounds, intermediate and wet weather tires. Okay, uh, that being said, let's go ahead and look at mail. We also have the car part done, so engine build finished. We finished building the new engine. We can now fit it in one of our cars. Now, we just saw that top speed is important and we just improved top speed with this part, but there's something I wanna talk about before we fit that in the, in the car, but let's look at sponsors now because we have a couple more offers. So I'm assuming that the one offer that we had before is still here, it is. So let's see what else we've got. We've got finish ninth or above, we get some upfront cash and then we get 450,000 per race if we accomplish that. I think this one's probably worth it. And then we have eighth or above and we get 500,000. Now that's a bigger bonus, but if we don't get it, then we get nothing. So I'm thinking we go with this one. It uh, is gonna last for eight races. We get some upfront cash. So if we never accomplish this objective of getting ninth or above, no big deal. We at least still got some upfront cash. So I'm going to accept this offer. And that will bring us back into, uh, you know, not a negative balance in any case. And then we have two that we can slot in here. So we have upfront cash of one and a half million, but then we don't get anything per race, or we get upfront of 200,000, and then 200,000 per race. And this lasts for 10 races. So 
It will last longer. I mean, it won't last. Yeah, it won't last longer. This will last 11. It will give us more overall money because 10 times 200,000 is 2 million. And then we get the other 200,000. So this is worth more. And it also gives us the option of switching sponsors out as well. So I say we accept this offer as well. And there's no, uh, nothing we need to do to get that to work. So we'll always be getting that 200,000. So we'll go ahead and accept that as well. So this gives us some cash to work with. And we still have a couple open slots. So if we get more sponsors later, uh, we're good to go. So the last thing we have to do is the car. So we can fit this part. Now the big thing though, is if we take a look at our parts here, our current parts as they stand have a reliability of 65% a piece. Now this part here is obviously better than either of the ones that we could have, as you can see right here. So more than likely it'd be a good idea, but we have to keep in mind it will be less reliable. So the chance that our car will break goes up. So it might be worth the risk. On the other hand, it might not be. Right now, both of our uh, drivers are content with their setup. Okay. Glad to see you respected my contract by giving us fairly equal cars. So he might be upset if I give Mustafa an increased car here. So right now, they're not particularly happy because the parts aren't as good as they could be. But they're pleased because they're, the balance of the two cars is close. But Mustafa's happy because his car is slightly better than Roger's. So as long as the balance isn't too far tipped, Roger's won't be too upset. But let's just see what happens when we do that. So right now, how does he feel? Pretty much the same. There's not really a difference here. So I just have to keep in mind, this is not going to be as reliable as the original part. As a matter of fact, what I could do is I could switch uh, Rogers here to have the other engine uh, because it's better uh, and it's more reliable. Well, it's just as reliable as his other engine. Why not? All right, so that seems okay for now. And we can never switch out these parts. These are the spec parts for uh, our series, as we saw in the rules. So they will always be at a reliability of point of 80%, and there's nothing we can do to improve that. All right. Now, this will come into part and uh, to play in the race because uh, strategically-wise, and let's just go ahead and, uh, well, no, we probably want to do another part here. Let's see what we can afford. So we design another part. First thing I want to check is I want to check if we designed another engine, we could go on to slot two here now because we've unlocked it. So we could build an even better engine. Uh, so I could go with something that's rock solid, reliable, never will break on us. For instance, because if I did this part and this part together, that would be 100% reliability. We would never have to worry about our engine again. But I have to consider the fact that it's going to cost me another uh, 1.5 million plus 150,000 on top of that. So maybe not something we can afford right now. So what else is important for this race? Now keep in mind, we won't probably be able to do the part before this. So let's go into the next race. Acceleration is going to be important, as is uh, cornering, medium corner speed. So I think... And what is our forecast there? It's also going to be rain. All right. Where are we on our handling? And so I'm assuming that this point here is kind of the average for the league is this, this arrow. It looks like deceleration is something that we really have a problem with. So let's say we go to brakes. Brakes are fairly affordable, only 500,000, and it only takes five days to design. So I think we could probably do this. And every time we design a part, we make the future better as far as what parts we can get in the future. So I think we go with uh, reliability and deceleration. I kind of like this as our kind of starting point. And then again, we have 
kind of similar upgrades, uh, it seems like, with our engine. So it kind of just changes what aspect, but more or less the upgrades are very similar. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this. Uh, it'll cost us 550000 so we will go back into the red, but I think it's worth it, so let's go ahead and build that part. All right. So let's go ahead and go on to... Scouting is still as a ways to go. Let's go on to the race. So we're traveling to the Black Sea right now. All right, so... We're pretty much good to go. Uh, our chairman's pretty happy with us right now. Let's go ahead and go on to the race. All right, so this is where we're going to have our pre-race setup. So we get to choose which sponsor we want to take. Do we go for the chance of ninth or above and get a much better payout? Or do we go with the safer 13th or above and get a much reduced payout? I think we go with the safer uh, option right now until we get a good idea of what our chances are this season. But we're going to have uh, the ability in the future to make that decision. I can't take both sponsors, as you can see here. Next thing we need to do is part fitting. We already kind of did that, so we're pretty much ready to go. So let's go to the race. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do is practice. And this is where we fine-tune our car for the particular race. So we're going to be setting up our, our gearbox and different handling aspects to match the, the track. And we're also going to get our driver's uh, experience with the track itself. So first we're going to be selecting our drivers. Now one interesting thing here, we have a stat called feedback. Now feedback is how well the driver is going to learn the track. And as you can see here, our normal two drivers... Mustafa and Alex. Uh, Must Alex is actually having worse feedback than our reserve driver. I could send our reserve driver around and he would actually give me a better idea of how to set up the car. But Alex wouldn't get the experience of the track. Also, if you had a young uh, driver that had a lot of potential, this is a good opportunity to give him some track time, to give him experience and training. Just something we might do in the future. If I am able to scout a good young driver that has a lot of potential, I'll probably give him uh, time in the practice uh, session to give him experience. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go to our car setup. So right now we have no clue how to set up our car for this uh, track. At least I don't think so. Maybe our, no, yeah, that's right. Our mechanic will tell us. Okay, so our mechanic kind of gives you us an idea with this green bar of where we should have each of these three stats. And we're going to have to modify all of these different variables to get us in the zone that we need to. So downforce, pretty easy. You got front wing and rear wing. And I forget what was important for this track. I think it was maybe rear wing, but... As you can see, we give ourselves more downforce, moves our bar, so we kind of want to be a little bit in the middle of that. All right, so I went a little bit rear heavy because I thought I remembered that being important. I could be misremembering that. Um, all right, so in any case, uh, now we have to address handling. So we can either increase tire pressure or decrease it or increase or decrease tire camber, or increase or decrease suspension stiffness. So I'm gonna go a little bit softer on the suspension and a little bit more tire pressure and give myself a little bit more camber. Go one more tick with the suspension. Now gear re re ratios. Right now, speed balance uh, was reduced, and you can see some things that you're trying to do with handling will uh, affect your speed balance. So I didn't really actually make the changes to my gearbox just yet. 
All right, I think that's going to be the setup I go for now. Actually, maybe slightly less aggressive. Okay. So we've got a kind of balanced in the middle for all of these things. Let's go on to our tire choice. I am not actually sure the strategy I'm going to do here because both of our drivers are very similar in skill. I'm thinking rather than go aggressive, we're going to go a little bit more conservative here and... All right, you know what? He's our, he's our position leader. I'll go more aggressive here. I'll go with uh, the super soft tires rather than just the soft. So the difference is you get more speed on the super soft, but your durability is down. So he's going to be pitting more often. And considering that his engine is less reliable, he may be an issue. Ho hopefully we don't have his car break down, but I'm going to try and go for uh, quicker pits, not actually trying to repair parts. Because if you repair parts, it puts so much time onto your your uh your pit stop that your chances of winning are really reduced now granted if you get knocked out of the race entirely by your car breaking down then you're gonna finish dead last so that's not good obviously all right so we have done his setup now let's do alex rogers uh, setup so we have uh downforce again oh it looks like we have a definitely a different setup for this car than the other so, there we go. That looks like uh, kind of in the middle. We'll get an indication of how good we are uh, set up once we do some practice go rounds. All right, so suspension setup. Handling is actually probably right where it needs to be. So, uh, gear ratios. I'm going to put that right about there. So, it looks like we're roughly in the middle of everywhere we need to be. And again, we'll see if this is correct. Tire choice. I'm going to go less aggressive with Rogers here. And I'm going to go with soft tire compound. And he is not going to pit quite as often. At least that's your strategy. Okay, let's go ahead. Confirm those two. And we're pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and do our practice. We're going to take the practice. Because I like to fine-tune the car. I think it's important. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send both out. We already have everything set up the way we want them to, but we also have to tell them what kind of thing uh, to do. We can either have them do uh, race trim or qualifying trim. There is no qualifying, so in this case, we're just doing uh, the uh, race trim. I'm going to have him go out for, yeah, the minimum amount of time. Because our practices are so short, I'd like him to go out a couple times so that we can fine-tune the car. So that's pretty much good to go. Uh, we don't need to spend any time in the pit, so he can just go out. And there you go. And then let's go ahead and send out our other driver. Again, stint. That's fine. We're a race trim. And we already set everything up, so we're good to go. Let's send them out. So we're going to go ahead and speed up the uh, practice here. And just have them go around. And this is more or less what the race is going to look like, the same kind of view. I'm going to go ahead and look at El Sadat here, our lead driver, as he goes around. So pretty much what we got going on here, we have the tires here. So the percentage, right now 94%, down to 93. That's the wear on the tire. Obviously, the lower it gets, the slower the time is going to be. We also have temperature, which is the bar right next to the tires. Uh, and you obviously don't want it to be too cold, and you don't want it to be too hot. So if we push the driver too hard, and we can do that by changing his strategy, we can tell him to uh, push or attack, which is going to wear his tires more, also heat his tires up more, or we could have him conserve or back up. Now if he conserves, his tires are going to run cooler, and they're not going to wear out as fast. Then we also have how much we want to run the engine here. So if we run the engine... You know, at a higher rate, you're going to burn through fuel faster. And I think it also wears on your parts a little bit more, pushing. But I may not be correct in that. All right. Uh, and that's pretty much how you do things. And that's exactly what you do in the race, is to do these things. Also, we have the fuel over here. And again, the little triangles show you how hard we're pushing. So the more triangles, the harder we're pushing. And the fuel, uh, obviously, if you run out of fuel, you're done for the race. So you don't want to do that. And our uh, series... 
we can refuel, so uh, that's going to be a part of our strategy when we pit. So we're going to continue to go around here. Now we can bring them in any time, but we're going to let them do the full uh, three laps. Also, up at the top, we have how well they're learning the track, as well as how well they're learning the tires that they're currently using. So we almost have a level on the tires, the, so the super softs. Uh, we're only about halfway with the soft tires. And this is because El Sadat can give us more feedback than Alex Rogers, who currently is using the soft tires, can. Right now, the weather forecast, we're not expected to have any rain during practice, although we were expecting rain uh, during the race. And then water on the track is how much water there is on the track. Obviously, there's none. And then track grip is how much rubber there is down on the track. Uh, as the uh, cars go around, it will build up rubber on the track, which will give the cars more grip. But if there is rain, it will wash the... Uh, the track grip away so that's something that might happen during the race now right now this little green uh box icon shows that uh, el sadat is ready to pit so once he pits we're going to go ahead and uh have him work on okay so we're going to pause here and then we're going to send him out again but now when we go for the set out we're going to get a feedback from the driver. How does he feel the setup is? So right now he's saying handling, very poor. He's okay with the speed balance. It could be better. And uh, not so happy with downforce either. I'm thinking with the downforce, probably we need to go a little bit more with that. So let's just give him a little bit more downforce overall. Okay, maybe that will uh, help things. And then... Uh, as far as handling, he really doesn't like that. Uh, so we're going to have to deal with that. Speed balance, uh, I think we actually have to go up with a little bit. So, uh, first things first, let's try and deal with this handling a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit more aggressive. I don't want to make the suspension too much soft. Uh, we'll go a little bit softer. There we go. We'll see how this adjusts things. And then gear ratio, we're going to have to go, I think, a little bit more aggressive here. All right, so that's our adjustments. That's going to have him spend some time in the uh, pit stop, some of the time that's allocated for the practice, uh, setting that up. And we already are good on the race trim. We don't have any other choices here. I might switch him to the soft tire just to get some... Uh, feedback on that as well so we can get a level in that so let's go ahead and send him out and uh, let's go ahead and play now Rogers here is about to come in so when he comes in we'll go ahead and pause and do the same thing so uh, he feels poor okay good so that's um, definitely we're closer with him uh, than we were with Mustafa here so uh, we're perfect on speed balance, so we want to stay where we are. We could get better than this, by the way. There is higher than good. Um, he feels a little bit poor about downforce. I think we maybe have a little bit... We need to reduce that a little bit, I think. And then handling, it looks like... We need to go a little stiffer for his car like that um i don't think we want to overdo this because he's okay with it it could be better and that's what we're trying to go for obviously we want to uh, improve the downforce more so let's do that i think that's the setup that i want uh, speed balance, I think, is okay. So we're going to go ahead and send him out. It's not going to take him nearly as long to ch make those changes. And as far as the tire choice, I think I'm going to keep him on the tires that he has. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to change these tires because these are tires he's going to also be using for the race. So I don't want to uh, give uh, him another fresh pair. So let's go ahead and send him out. And let's start things back up again. So we're going to speed through here 
All right, I don't know how much time we have left. I'm assuming it's down here. So we only have a few minutes left. So as much uh, as they can get figured out and the time that we have will be good. Hopefully we can get knowledge of the soft tires so we can take advantage of that. But uh, we may not have time because we're running out here. We only have a couple minutes left. All right, so uh, Alex Rogers is happy with the gearing. He just told me in the radio. You have to be quick on the radio messages to see what they say. Downforce is feeling a bit off now, guys. Okay, so downforce is uh, a little bit worse. Mustafa feels. So hopefully that's something we can improve. I'm not getting any speed on the straights. Do we have too much arrow on the car? Okay, so he again doesn't like the downforce. He needs that reduced. It feels like we're running the wrong arrow setup here. So the arrow setup is a real problem for both uh, cars. Hopefully I can make it better. All right, so we're gonna have a pit here. Looks like we got uh, up to level three on our race trim. Okay, so these are pretty much the results and this is how our drivers did. So Alex Rogers finished at the bottom uh, out of all of those that practiced, and uh, Mustafa Al-Sadat finished at 16th. That's obviously not good. We want to improve on that, but we're trying to feel out the cars here. Okay. So we get an idea of stuff. Okay, if, I wonder if Archer BMR boss ever wakes up in the morning and thinks about retiring, because that would be great. Oh, that's not uh, great. Um... Pretty lame practice. So a lot of people didn't like the uh, performance that we did. Uh, all right. And this is uh, stuff from other teams here. All right. So let's continue. So now it's race day. And we know we're going to have rain. Actually, probably should have uh, practiced uh, with intermediate tires, I now re realize. Okay, so we have a couple of slots for our drivers. These slots are their knowledge. So the first thing we're going to want to do is obviously choose the race trim for both of them. Now for the slots. Because of the rain... Ah, I should have done intermediate tires, I now realize. I'm hoping that it clears up towards the end of the day. Um, if that's the case, we'll be using the soft tires. So I'm going to do uh, my original strategy. That might have been a, a uh, mistake on my end. Oh, you know what? I've got other thing here. Super soft tires wear more slowly. Or fast pitch stops now have a minus 15% mistake chance. Oh, well, that's actually very useful. Um, let's actually come back here. Did he have uh, things he could do? No. So apparently... Um, our Alex Rogers has a bonus to fast pit stops. So uh, we might want to be more aggressive with him, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our car setup. So this is where we get to uh, do our setup here. So uh, unhappy with handling and downforce. Let's go ahead and change this guy's setup first. Okay. So, handling seems like it needs a lot of improvement. Let's uh, stiffen it up a bit. That looks like it will probably help. Let's also reduce a couple other... Th yeah, you know what? That's probably good. So, that should help. Um, now, as far as downforce, they felt like it was too much. So, I'm going to go up. Let's raise this up a little bit and bring this down. Okay, so then we need to balance the speed to get it back kind of to that sweet spot we've already established. 
All right, so hopefully these changes will help our car out. Um, looks like we're kind of in the middle of where we need to be. Entire choice. We're, we've got water on the track, so I think intermediates are the right choice here. And then fuel options, of course, we want a, fuel, a full tank. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's change our setup over here. So where are we? Um, we're much better set up over here. So really, I think it's just down, uh, downforce fine tuning. Now, I believe it looks kind of like we're in the middle. Um, I might... Back it off a little bit. See if we can get a little bit of improvement. And then that's not going to mess up our handling and speed balance all that much. Um, which we have good and great. So we set up Alex Rogers' car much better than we did Mustafa's. We're also going to do intermediate tires here. And again, set up uh, for a full fuel tank. And we'll confirm that. Finally, we have driver strategy, which I think I'm going to keep on neutral and medium and kind of just feel out the race. But that's going to be, I think, uh, it for the initial setup for the race. So we'll be doing the race in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.